You are currently the only person in this conference. Hello? Can you hear me? Just tell me please. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can hear somebody's microphone. Hello? Hello, hello. Can you, hello. Uh, yes, I, I can see that you, you can hear me. Good to hear you. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. Great. That's very good. Okay, I see that Joanne is also there. Hello, Joanne. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Very good, and you? Thank you so much. I'm doing great. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm so happy to see you here again. All right. Um, anybody else? Um, Pavina, can we hear you? Okay. And um, can you hear us? All right. Let's go. Yeah. We'll start. I will start in a minute. Just wait a second. All right, I'm getting prepared everything for the class. Okay. So, now we are ready. Almost ready to begin. So, um, I, I, I think that you can see um, more questions to you. So the first question to everybody is, can you hear me? Just please type there in the window, in the chat, if you can hear me, please. Or you can say if you can hear. I can hear you. Very good. And I can hear you, Jan. It's so good to hear you. So anybody else, please. Yeah, Marina said that she can hear us. Very good, Marina. And uh, this is um, good to see you here. Um, if you please um, join us and turn your microphone, it would be great. Anybody else, please? So uh, the next question, as you can see, can you see my screen? If you yes. can see my screen, Yes. So what can you see on the screen? Questions. Very good. <laughs> so what's your name? 
My name is Vlad. Your name is Vlad? Yes, yes. Can you, can you type it? Please type. Yeah, very good. Jim, uh, can you see uh, this uh, young young man? His his name is Vlad. Okay. Um, so let me let's us introduce each other. My name is Vladimir. I am 58 years old. I teach the English language to the Russian students, and also I work as a translator and interpreter. Let me introduce a very special friend of mine, an uh, English as second language teacher. Her name is Joanne. Joanne, will you please introduce yourself? Hi, students. My name is Joanne. I live in the United States of America. I'm retired now. And I'm pleased to be here for this class. Okay. Um, thank you so much. It was uh, it's such a pleasure to have you here. How about everybody else now? Would you like to introduce yourself? Um, Marina, Vlad, would you please uh, say a couple of words about yourself? You can type if you want. But always it's a very good idea to talk. It's very necessary for you to talk. I don't understand. What, what don't you understand? Hey. Hey. But right now, when we talk together with you, you answer my questions. That means that you understand me. We, will you please uh, say a couple of words about yourself, Vlad? Who are you? Yes, please. How about Marina? How about Polina? Will you please, you can type if you feel uh, not very comfortable to talk. You can type. Write down there in the chat a little bit about yourself. It's necessary for us to know about you a little bit. Because um, Every class will be like that. We'll try and talk with you. Okay. Yes, I know, uh, and uh, that is why I understand, Barin. That is why I send everything, all of the screenshots uh, with the settings, how to switch the microphone. Okay, um, Joanne, uh, please, can you help Marina explain how to find the settings to switch to turn the microphone on. Um, um, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. Yes, you, yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I set my phone when I came in the room. And I don't see, I don't see the place to adjust the settings now. All right, uh, Marina, you can um, you can do the right click on your mouse in any place on the screen, 
And if you do the right click on the mouse, you will see the word settings. Then if you click on settings, then you will see the, the symbol of the microphone. And if you, uh, if you click on this symbol of the microphone, you will allow, you will permit to uh, turn your microphone on. Okay, I can show you this. Um, wait a second. It will be like that. Okay. And then uh, if you see, this is uh, the um, invitation to <clears throat> allow to turn your microphone on. If you can see, here is the symbol of the microphone. If you click on the symbol, and then you will allow your microphone to turn on. And then you have to close. Okay. Uh, you can also adjust the volume. If you see this green bar moving with your voice, then your microphone is working. Okay. Also, there might be the invitation to join audio. If you can see it here, you can also have to click on it to join audio. Okay, I think that now it's very clear. All right. So what do you think, Marina? Uh, if it's very hard to turn your microphone on, you can just type in the chat and everything will be fine. Okay, how about... Uh, we have so many people present here. Please turn your microphones on and try and talk with us. Paulina, Sima, I think. Please try. Uh, Victoria, please try and start talking. If you don't hear me, um, Paulina, no, I don't hear you. Sorry. I can't hear you. But that's okay. All right, I think that uh, you will manage. Um, uh, why, why do you think that you know that we can't hear you? So what's, what is the problem? Maybe we can help fix you the problem. Okay, let me show you over again uh, these uh, pictures. So first of all, you have uh, to let me um, show you. So first of all, uh, if you want to uh, turn your microphone on, you have to do the right click on your mouse. Right click on your mouse. Okay. Uh, if you if you did the right click on your mouse, then you will see settings. Settings for your microphone. And all of these settings will go as follows as this picture, which I'm showing to you. Here you have to join audio. Then this is where you will select your microphone. And this is where you will adjust the volume of your microphone. And this is where you will select which is the, the PCB, the printed circuit board for your microphone. You can use from your uh, web camera or from your uh, uh, 
audio part, then, which in my case is C media or real tech. Okay. Sorry. That seems to be all. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, and uh, if you have any questions, please uh, ask questions and uh, I will try and help you. All right. Um, now, next, uh, again, I ask you to introduce yourself. So, Vlad, will you please uh, say a couple of words about you? Will you please introduce yourself? What? Will you... Please introduce yourself. Please say a couple of words about your yourself. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, what a fat question. Why, right, um, just uh, tell us a little bit, um, uh, who are you, um, uh, what's your, uh, what you said about your name, if you don't mind, maybe, how old are you, and, uh, what is your job, if you do any, any kind of job, or if you study, what grade uh, are you studying oh. in? Yes, please. I am a uh, student in 11th grade, right? Yes. yes. Um, are you planning to take the Russian state exam this year? Uh. Uh, I don't know. Oh. Uh, why did you choose English class then? Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, Jan, uh, in uh, Russia, uh, 11th grade, uh, that's, that's okay. Uh, you are very welcome. Uh, Jen, in Russia, 11th grade is a uh, senior class, and uh, this is the final class. And in the end of the 11th grade, those who want, they uh, choose the state or uh, the national exam. Uh, it, in this case, it, it may be exam in English. And uh, that is why they come to this class, to my class, to get prepared for this national exam. Uh, does it make sense to you, Jan? Yes. Yes, it does. We don't have okay. national exams like that uh, in America. All right. But uh, you have, uh, yeah, you, you have the SAT and ACT. Um, I, and uh, I think that uh, we, in Russia, we copied uh, mostly the idea of uh, those final exams from the United States of America and from Europe. Those exams are for determining if a student will do something all Okay. Uh, the same, same in Russia. Uh, you have the core exams, uh, which are like ACT uh, or SAT, which are in the Russian language and uh, in maths. But also, it's uh, possible for the students to have the uh, electives for this Russian uh, national exam besides the core exams. So let's say uh, the package of the exams to enter the college will be at the very least uh, maths, Russian, and uh, one or two electives. I see. I see. 
So that, that is why some of them choose uh, English as uh, their elective. And after that, it's possible for them to apply to college or university. All right, and uh, Miss Knopova, uh, what is your name, if I may ask you? Hello, me? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, what is your name? Hello. <laughs> yes, please. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm um, not from Snopova. I am Marina Kurovikova. Say it again, please. Um, I'm sorry, you just asked uh, Knopova, but it's not me. I'm just um, trying the microphone. All right, and uh, what is your name? Uh, my name is Marina Karabutova. Oh, very, very good. Now I understand. Okay, uh, good to have you here. Um, so, uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, okay, I am 17 years old. I study um, uh, at uh, high school. And I live in Kazan, Russia. Uh, in Russia. So, what else? And I'm uh, going to pass the uh, English exam uh, next year. So, that's why I'm here. Okay. I understand. Um, well, I hope that you will pass, but first of all, you have to take it. And uh, only if you are successful. Then you can say that uh, you will pass it. Okay, very nice to meet you. Jen, uh, will you comment a little bit uh, about take an exam, uh, seek an exam, and pass the exam? Will you please uh, say a couple of words about that? Um, I'm sorry, uh, what should I do? What, uh, can you just repeat, please? Um, I'm asking Joanne. Oh, okay. Hello, hello, Jen. Can you hear me? Yes. What did you ask me? I'm asking about the uh, English usage of uh, the ta to take exam and uh, or to sit an exam and to pass an exam. When do we use uh, these phrases? So when you're talking about exams, yes. you say that we're going to take an exam. I think in Britain they say that they're going to sit an exam. Yes. Um, we can pass the exam or we can slung it. Yes, right. So um, when you take an exam, it doesn't mean that you will pass it, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you can you can fail it. Okay. All right. So, um, how about Knopova? Uh, can you say a couple of words about you? Will you introduce yourself? Uh, you can type. Uh, about yourself? I am. Or, yes, you please. What's your name? My name is Yana. I'm 17 years old. I graduated yes. into the Institute um, in this year on a uh, yes. foreign language. Very happy. Yes. <laughs> All right. I want to know. Um, a little more mm, about English language. Okay, very good. Um, Jana, will you please type your name in the chat because um, uh, it will be very uh, helpful for Joanne to see the spelling of your name. Will you please type it? Um, Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's not. So, G 
that I can do it. Just type in the chat. Uh, it's in the left bottom corner of the screen. Don't you mean the right bottom corner? Oh, excuse me. I'm left-handed person. That is why I can't. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Jen. Uh, everybody always correct me for this uh, confusion of the of the of the corners. Sorry. Of course, it's 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 the right corner. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm kind of an ambidextrous. You know, it's possible for me to draw the both a hand, but um, that, that 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 is why the confusion. Somebody's microphone is making a lot, lots of noise. Uh, so, Yana, will you please type your name? I try. And? And? <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> yes, of course. So, we have some um, several people here. Um, and uh, I think that now we know most of you. And uh, then, um, before we start, do you have any questions which you would like to talk about? And do not forget that we have a very special visitor here in our classroom. It, uh, it's Joanne. She is a an uh, English as second language teacher, and uh, she uh, will um, answer um, to your questions. Uh, please ask her if you if you have any questions before we start. Okay. No one has any questions. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they are a little bit shy, you know, it's a, it's a little bit weird surrounding, you know, um, unusual. Well, I can tell the class that it's a sunny day here in America. <laughs> really? Uh, it's so good because here in Russia, uh, it's been raining all day, uh, yesterday it was Downpouring almost. I came home wet, uh, wet through. All of my clothes were wet through. Okay, um, so I see that no questions to you, Joanne, and uh, I'm sorry about that, but I think that the, the, the questions will be later. Uh, later. I think that uh, they, they, will, uh, they will want to ask you questions. All right, and uh, yes, um, I, I, I would like to review the material that we learned the previous class. So what other words are for trousers in the English language? What other words for trousers do you know in the English language? Vladimir. Yes, please. I don't see the list of questions that you had up previously. You don't see the uh, you don't see my uh, word document. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. But uh, I can see on my another computer. I'm sharing the the screen. Uh, let's ask uh, other people. Can can you see my screen? Yes. You you see people say yes. I I don't know why. But I share the screen and I can see on my another computer I, I can see the screen. I must have done something wrong. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe it it was my fault. Maybe I did something wrong. Uh, because uh, you know, you you should uh, see. I'm just checking, and uh, 
I have it. Um, all right. Um, okay. Um, another question is uh, another question is where is Joanne from? Where is Joanne from? Anybody please answer the question. I think that all of you, you heard how Joanne introduced herself and she said of uh, what country she is from. Okay, uh, very good, Marina. Um, and uh, during the previous class, Joanne also said uh, which um, city in the United States of America she is from and which state. Of course, yeah, of course, Joanne is from the United States of America. <laughs> so you see, Joanne, uh, Jana uh, doesn't believe us. <laughs> we, we are talking from different countries. I'm talking from Russia and Joanne is talking to you from the United States of America. This is uh, the miracle of the modern technologies. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, uh, which state is Joanne from? Which state of the United States? Vladimir. Yes. Well, you didn't say it to this class, but you said about that previously, the previous class. Yeah. Maybe something. Yeah. Yes, of course. I'm in the state of West of Virginia. I'm in a little town called Summersville. Okay, and uh, what what I what I like about your state and uh, your city, it um, gives such a hard time for the Russian person to pronounce both things, like West Virginia and uh, Summersville. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> okay. Uh, Anybody, can you repeat which state and which city is Joanne from? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Joanne, what do you think? Is it correct? Is it the correct answer? I don't see anything in the chat box. You, you don't see, uh, but if you please scroll a little bit down, uh, the scroller, which is uh, at the right side, you will see one of the answers given by Marina. No. Can you see? And uh, Jana, mind your grammar. I see K K K. Uh, what, is, what does that mean, K K K? It's loud. What's that? Oh, I I do not understand what it, what what's the meaning of that. So, uh, Jan, if you can see, uh, Marina wrote uh, that you are from the state of uh, Virginia. Is it a correct answer? Not exactly. Not exactly. Yes, please. There is a state called Virginia, mm -hmm. and then there's a state called West Virginia. Okay. And the uh, where? Yes. Yes, and uh, where is the state of uh, Virginia? It's next to West Virginia. Okay, and uh, is 
uh, I remember it's um, not far from uh, Washington DC, right? That's right. Okay. So, and uh, you know, also Jana Knopova, she wrote Joanne Liv, and this is uh, not a correct grammar. Um, Joanne, you should say lives in the USA, and this is very important to say lives, okay? Uh, you can do anything with echoes and other sounds. Uh, all right, um, uh, Vlad, I can turn your microphone off, and probably all of the echoes will disappear. Let me try. I can turn your microphone off, and uh, all of the sounds will disappear. Let me show it to you. All right, can you hear me now? So you see, I turned your microphone off, and uh, no echoes, no annoying sounds. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I understand. All right. So, and... Uh, do you remember which city Joanne lives in? Which city in West Virginia? Nobody remembers. Please try. Um, don't listen to me. Talk louder, please. Virginia, yes. Um, you, you don't remember the city, okay? Uh, Jen, will you please type the name of the city? Sure. Sure. Please. Yes, and if you don't mind, um, please pronounce it, and we'll try to pronounce after you. Summersville. 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 Okay. Can you can you pronounce it again? Summersville. 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 Okay, that's. Uh, very hard for the Russian uh, ear to uh, hear and to pronounce it. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I will move further on. Now, let me see whose microphone right now is making noise. Okay, I will try. No, not this one. Sorry, I'm just checking. Not this one. Okay. Just wait a second. Yeah, right, like you say, much better. But I'm just, you know, turning on and turning off your microphones. And that's it. Okay. And I understand that it takes time to adjust everything. And uh, believe me that this place is the best uh, to use uh, the microphone. <laughs> you see, somebody wrote something like Summersville. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Now, um, if you have a look at uh, the pictures, I will just 
show you the picture from the previous class. Okay. Oh. So can can you see the picture? Just tell me, can you see the picture? Yes, very good. Okay. So, uh, the previous class, we talked about um, two different sentences. And uh, I just want you to have a look at the picture, and I will remind you of this sentence. So, um, we have here she and then a gap your national costume. And this is about the picture. And then Indian women and then yeah, beautiful colored saris. Um, so what do you think? Um, which verb and you have uh, here is wearing and where will you put in this gap? The first uh, sentence. Okay, Marina, um, why do you think so? You can read it on uh, the board. Why do you think that it is necessary to put she's wearing your national costume? <laughs> that's that's a good answer, Jen. Can you see the answer? No. No. Uh, it's in the chat. Can can you see the chat? Yes, but it is slow. Yes. Uh, and the answer she gives the answer like if it is where, then it should be wears. She wears, isn't it? Okay, um, and how about the next uh, sentence? Uh, and uh, the next sentence is about the, not the description of uh, uh, women um, in the picture, because uh, you see it's picture uh, B, uh, where you have the Indian lady in a sari. But uh, in this sentence, it's about, uh, generally speaking, about Indian women. What would you put here? Is it are uh, wearing or wear? What do you think? All right. Are wearing. So um, I think. All right, uh, Jim, could you please uh, um, uh, co comment a little bit on the usage of uh, uh, is wearing and uh, wear? When will we say? Uh, okay, please. We would say she is wearing her national costume that indicates what she has on right now. Okay. And when we say um, when we say Indian women wear saris, we're saying in general that's what Yes. Right. Yes, absolutely. And uh, um, I think that students can see uh, in the picture, uh, Indian women wear beautiful colored saris. So that means uh, when you talk about the, um, generally speaking about Indian women, okay? Um, how about uh, the next, uh, the, the next picture is uh, 
on Teacher G, and uh, it's about two Chinese ladies. And uh, you have uh, the sentence here, the girls, and uh, the verb here should be carry. Uh, what will you say about this picture? Just check your understanding of uh, the English grammar. Come on, please, guys. <laughs> it's almost 47 minutes. <laughs> All right. Uh, have a look at the sentence. Um, it's this sentence, and uh, okay, let me uh, just wait a second. I'm talking about this sentence. Can can you see this sentence? Yes. And uh, th yes. this is the picture, picture D, uh, with the Chinese ladies. So. Which tense, which form of the verb will you use? Uh, so you see, Jan, the, uh, Marina is answering. They do it right now. So maybe are carrying. Only the, the spelling of the word carrying is not correct. Okay. Uh, Jan, what would you say? I would say are caring. Yes, right. And uh, um, you see here it's number six. Um, no, no, it's uh, number four. It's Japanese women, sorry. It's Japanese. Um, the girls are carrying paper fans. The girls are carrying paper fans. Okay. Now we have a little bit um, of uh, a slight idea of uh, using uh, sentences in English. Now, if you please have a look at this lady. Do you know this lady? So, who is she? Almost 80. <laughs> Who is this woman? Okay, and uh, my next question will be about your dress. How can you describe what a kind of a dress is that? And uh, I would like you to use the same grammar which you reviewed uh, previously during the class. Or you can say something about your hat if you want to. Nobody knows this woman. <laughs> No, <laughs> uh, this lady is wearing a red, you have forgotten, carrying some flowers. I think this is, uh, Jen, what do you think about this description? It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, and uh, how about the usage of the article? It's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, this lady is wearing, I, I think, should be a red costume, right? Yes, I don't think it's costume. Uh huh. I think it's, we would. Uh, say it's not a costume. I think we would say she is wearing a dress. 
Yes, I do the same about myself. Uh, she's wearing a, a dress, okay? And <laughs> you see, uh, my students do not know this lady. What what can I do about that? <laughs> they they learn English and they do not know this lady. Uh, Elizabeth the second, thank you so much. <laughs> Elizabeth the second. All right, very good. Okay, we can move on. So Queen Elizabeth the second. So next, what I would like you to review is about the word formation, which you know is part of your national exam. So uh, you have again two sentences, and what will your answers be? Again, this is about the description of uh, these uh, pictures which we talked about. So, um, what would you say about the first sentence? Yes, and about the second. So the first is these are wooden shoes, and the second is they are made of the same word. Wool will be for, yes, they are made of wood. So then his socks are made of uh, Okay, and uh, his shirt is not Very good. Then uh, we have uh, wide and uh, widen. These trousers are Wide, he was robbed in No, it's again he was robbed in wide daylight, then this will This will widen your horizon and your eyes. Okay, now I, I think that you can see the word formation wood, wooden, wool, woolen, broad, broaden, wide, widen. Okay, and a little bit um, more. Uh, the difference of usage this coat is made of, and you, can, you have to select from made of fur and made from skins. All right, this is what we learned during the previous class. Now, uh, I just uh, want to remind you that the next American holiday will be Halloween. Have you, have you heard about Halloween? Have you heard of, yes. Okay, what did you hear about Halloween? What, what do you know about Halloween? Okay, Jan, uh, can you say a little bit about American holiday Halloween? Um, on Halloween, we have parties, parties, and we dress up in costumes. Okay. We might go as a witch. Okay. We might put our costumes looking like a bear. Or a yes. Children 
go from house to house on Halloween night. Yes. They ask the people in the house for candy. Yeah, right. Yeah, and uh, you see Marina also wrote, the pumpkins are everywhere. Oh, yes. when when do you have yeah? When do you have Halloween? Halloween is on October thirty first. October thirty first. Okay. Um, have you have you bought a pumpkin already for Halloween? Me? Me? Yes. Uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because what you do with pumpkin <laughs> and cut a face on the pumpkin. Then you put a candle inside so the face shows. Yeah. It makes a big mess. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. But I, I, I think that uh, almost everybody uh, puts, um, um, at the very least, one pumpkin on their porch uh, during the Halloween. Not really. <laughs> uh, because, you know, I was in the United States of America during Halloween. And uh, we visited several neighborhoods, and uh, most of the porches were with, uh, I, I would say, with more than one pumpkin with uh, uh, candles in them. I think we were in Iowa, Iowa State, at that time. Maybe they have lots of pumpkins in Iowa. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right, because it's kind of a uh, very developed agriculture there. Right, Ivan, right. Okay, um, so we are almost finished. And uh, uh, Joanne, would you like to say something? Um, about the um, about the the class, about uh, the students, about their participation, uh, what would you uh, be willing them to do? We don't have Halloween in Russia. <laughs> it's a bit. Uh, Yana wrote. Okay. And uh, what will you suggest for next classes? Because uh, you know, I would like to have more conversation. I would like students to talk more. What would you suggest? I would suggest that each student write two sentences in English about themselves. Okay. Prepare to read those two sentences aloud. Okay, very good. Okay. I agree. I will ask them so uh, let's put it as your home assignment, okay? Home assignment. So for the next Friday, um, write two sentences about yourself and read them aloud during the class. Is it correct, Jen? Yes. All right. So, um, dear students, do you have something to say? Okay. It's, it, it's my pleasure, but uh, most of all, I think um, I'm, I really appreciate uh, Joanne's help. I really appreciate Joanne's participation. 
This is Halloween, this is Halloween pumpkin screen. Yeah. 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 That's funny. Um, That's funny. Yeah. Um, Jan, thank you so much for your participation. Uh, I really, really appreciate everything that you do for us. You're very welcome. You're welcome. Okay, and uh, I hope to see everybody uh, next class. Okay? Um, so, bye for now.